Okay, so now we're moving on to our third fold in our never ending card. So I'm going to open this up. And open this up. I've pre punched four little squares. Actually, I've got five. I'm going to pick the four that I like. Uh, let's go for those four. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and add those on to my four corners first. I'm going to center them in as much as I can. They don't have to face any which way um, because of the way that we made the paper. It's all wonky anyway. So we don't have to worry about top and bottom. Then I'm going to take um, some pieces that I had pre-cut. A red mat and an orange piece. I've gone ahead and attached um, some of the black eyelets. Go ahead and put the last one on. Now when you're doing eyelets on a never ending card, you only want to punch through your top layer of cardstock and then um, use adhesive to put it onto the mat because you don't want to be punching through your base because then when you fold open, you'll be able to see the back of the eyelet. And that's not good. So I'm going to put some adhesive and just attach to my mat. And as soon as I have these down, I'm going to come back in with another stamp. I'm going to use my little piston and stays on ink. Stamp it towards the side. On this one I'm going to stamp it towards the right side and on the other piece I'm going to stamp it towards the left side. Go ahead and adhere those down. Now, since I messed up on this stamp right here, I'll probably come back in later with fine tip sharpie and just go over that little line just to fix it. Now, when you um, adhere stuff down, you want to make sure that you press it really well. And if you wanted to use a stronger adhesive than runner tape, that would not be a bad idea. Okay, so I'm going to take um, my engine, and like I said, I pre-colored this. <coughs> now, the way I'm going to get it to split is very easy. Um, this is the easiest way that I've found to do it, where you don't have to do any measuring or um, really any centering. You can take scissors. Adhesive. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one side of the card open. So I'm pulling my left side up just a little bit so that I have something to butt up against. I'm going to butt the end of my picture right up to the side, right up to the split right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to lift the right side of the card so that I have something to butt up against. I'm going to line up my picture. And press this down. Okay, so we're going to move right on to part four. And this is the last page of the card. So you flip that open. Let me show you real quick. Um, see how that completed the second page. Right there. So, moving on. There's our full fourth page. <coughs> and this one, just like the other ones, is pretty simple. I pre cut <coughs> my decorative paper. 
have an orange mat, and I have my decorative paper square on the top. Like I said before, um, I'm going to have all the measurements on my blog <coughs> to make it a lot easier for you so you don't have to figure out what size to make everything. It'll be all right there. Put this down on the bottom. Now, like I said in the beginning, I've left this part blank um, so that I can come in later and write a little message when I decide who I'm going to get this card to. Or if you have a saying um, or a stamp that you want to put in there, you can go ahead and do that. And have it all ready to go. After I get these <coughs> decorative paper pieces down, I am going to attach my header. Making sure this is really even. Or as even as you can get it. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it, and um, go visit my other step-by-step -step tutorial on the Bombshell Stamp website in the new forum, and um, I will catch up with you guys later. Thanks a lot.